Hello Taurus. Hi Taurus, my bulls. Please like, share and subscribe. This is Guy Intuitive. This is going to be your monthly reading for November. So stay tuned. If you're new here, please like, share and subscribe. If you're returning, nice to have you back here. It's good to have you. Taurus, listen, this month, your channeled message, like while I was pre meditating on your reading, your energy this month, I feel like, <clears throat> I feel like there is a jealous friend around you. It's an Aquarius for sure. They may have Aquarius somewhere in their chart, but it could be an, it's an Aquarius. I feel like this Aquarius, first of all, they're jealous of you. Okay, this is like a fake friend. They're not genuine. They're not real. I feel like too, this person, I feel like Taurus, you could be um, going through um, some health issues around this time. Like maybe you may be feeling sick. Like you could be, I don't know, maybe you, um, you don't feel healthy around this time. You're just feeling sick. You don't, you're nauseous. I feel like this person is like doing work on you. They're doing magic on you. I feel like this person is trying to like steal your life force. Like they're doing magic to like steal your life force, to drain your life force, your energy, your vitality. And this person, like Taurus, this person, they're jealous too. Like they could be like, it could be also like single for some of you. And I feel like, right, this friend, I feel like this, like there could be somebody like watching you from, there could be like a secret admirer watching you or you just know who this is. But I feel like your friend, you, this could be a clarification. I feel like maybe your friend that came between you and your potential lover or your lover. And I feel like they were trying to steal them from you, but I feel like they couldn't, they failed. So that's why they're like trying to steal your energy, trying to drain you so that they can be like you, but they could never be you. First of all, Taurus, you're an Aquarius and I'm a Taurus. So that's how it is. Keep it moving. Like, I feel like too, this person could be jealous because you're the Empress and they are the Queen of Swords in reverse. Like, <laughs> this person, I feel like they could be, uh, I don't know, they could be like saying negative things about you to this person, the secret admirer, this person that is watching you. So I feel like this could be like a life tri love, could be like a triangle. I feel like you, all three of you, you know each other. The love interest knows you, the love interest knows your friend, your friend of course knows you. And I feel like your friend knows about this love interest. They have feelings for you, but they also want them. So they're competing for this man. They're doing magic on you, work. They are celebrating your health, your your bad health, your sickness. I feel like too, you could, yeah, like you just suddenly like you're feeling ill, like you don't understand, you don't know what's going on. I feel like too, it could be happening around the new moon, but I feel like too, around the new moon, you're going to be, I feel like this person, they're going to pay up. They're going to, it's going to, it's, they're going to pay for what they did to you. I feel like when the new moon in Scorpio enters, shit, all bets are off. It's going down, basement. Friday the 13th, guess who's playing Jason? Like this person is going to cough, this person is going to suffer a huge loss or like an emotional, because I feel like this love interest, they want you because you're the empress, they want to marry you, they want to make you their spouse. They see you as worthy, as an empress, and they see this other person as a queen of Queen of, oh, I almost said Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So this could be like also like a broke hoe, like a broke, she's broke or he's broke. And take it how it applies, could be a he or she. But I feel like your friend is broke and they're mad. They're mad. I feel like too, like this person is like bird, like bird energy, like they're not loyal. It's bird energy. They're flying around. They're landing there. One minute they're there and the next they're there. It's like they're hopping from dick to dick. But I want this Aquarius to know you get, you lose them how you get them.
So Taurus, let's get into your reading for this month. Yeah. Yeah, the world card, the 12 cups, and the wheel of fortune. But I kind of feel like at the in the end, you kind of get like this relationship. I feel like with the world card, like they're not a match. This person is, <laughs> they are not a match, first of all. It's a karmic relationship. And I feel like it's not conducive for them to like try to steal from you or do this. I feel like they're only like inviting bad luck. I feel like it's judgment day is coming for your for this Aquarius. Yeah, the Empress card. Here you are. You pop out again. The Empress. I feel like too with the Seven of Cups, this person is like going through like an illusion. They think they're strong, but they're weak. They're about to see. I feel like <laughs> this person wanna, wants to be fresh. We'll see who's going to be fresh on the new moon. We'll see who's going to be fresh on the new moon. I feel like too, they need to check on you, like to see how you're doing. They want to know if what they did to you worked. They're rejoicing. They're happy. But I feel like they're doing you a favor. This is not justice, but it's favor, okay? So, Taurus. Yeah, I feel like too, there could be like broken communication too, like... I feel like you may not be speaking with the love interest, but I feel like they, like they want to come towards you because I feel like with the world card, you are the fulfillment and they want to like complete this um, cycle. So I don't know if you want this person back or you don't. For some of you, you do. Some of you like you just move on. You want something new. But I feel like this love interest, I feel like somebody here, either this friend or the love interest, I feel like... They, this, there was somebody here was trying to like make you jealous or you know they were trying to make you jealous by doing whatever they did but i feel like it didn't work because you're not faced with the empress it's like what competition there's only the empress what competition queen of swords in reverse who i don't know you bitch you dumbass bitch yeah the high priestess i feel like your intuition has always been telling you about this shysty behavior I feel like your intuition also tells you that this person is like not your friend. They're not genuine with the two of cups in reverse. They don't love you. This person doesn't love you. Like they act like they love you. They care for you, but they're down. Yeah, ten of pentacles in reverse. I feel like you're going to build stability. I feel like you and this person could be dealing with the Virgo. It could be you and the, it could be dealing with the Virgo. But I feel like you will meet this person. I feel like it will... Be. I feel like if you want this person back, like it's in the bag with the Ten of Pentacles. Like legacy. I feel like too with the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Cups. I feel like I don't know why I'm getting. I feel like there could be two people here who lost out on your money. I feel like this people. I feel like you could have cut somebody out of your life, or somebody could have somebody may pass away. Yeah, the nine of cups. I feel like you're happy. I feel like whatever um you I feel like too with the ten of pentacles and the nine of cups, this is like your justice, your 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 justice for what these for what they put you through. So I feel like you're happy, you're in this stable, stable relationship. I feel like you're about to come into a stable relationship, yeah, with the heart fund. You could you could be getting married with the ten of pentacles. You may get proposed to with the nine of cups. I mean, you're the Empress. There's only the Empress, yeah. The Knight of Swords, yeah. This, this, this man is. This person is taking um action. Could be a Gemini. They want you. They love you. Like they, they man. I feel like they manifested this. I feel like too. You manifested this. I feel like you're very powerful. You're a magician, Taurus. Like you are literally the bank. Okay. Beloved in a building, you are the bank, you are the income, you are the salary. So if you're broke, everybody's broke. If you're sick, everybody's sick because you rule the five senses. So, yeah, the temperance card. I feel like, um, so I don't know, there could be um, a Sagittarian here involved. The star card. I feel like somebody made a wish. Somebody could be wishing on a star. 
for you. Or you could be like doing like some ritual. Like you could be like doing a ritual around this time. With the high priestess, the magician. I don't know. You could be like doing like some manifestation spells. Um, you're manifesting wealth. You're manifesting love. But I feel like you, you, you may not necessarily be doing that. But I feel like you are, your actions are manifesting these things into your life. I feel like the way you move. Just by, by the way you move. Like the decisions that you take. Because I feel like with the Empress card, you're just sitting, you're, like, you're not lifting a finger. I feel like the universe is just working in your favor, like you're just sitting. I feel like you could be like highly favored by the universe. I feel like Scorpio could be, you may have Scorpio in your chart and we're in Scorpio season and this person didn't even know that you have Scorpio in your chart and that we are in Scorpio season. Yeah, so they need to sit down. Yeah, to a so lot in the building. They didn't know it's Scorpio season. They don't even know that you're a Scorpio. They're dumb, bitch. I'm hearing dumbfounded. <laughs> but I feel like this person, yeah, before I said it, this person needs to sit down. They need to rest. They don't know what they're doing. I feel like somebody too, they made a bad planning. Somebody could have made, forgot something during a ritual that they made. Or I feel like somebody just didn't know that this time was not conducive for them to do this to you. I feel like with the Ace of Wands, you will gain back your 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 vitality, your energy. And I feel like when you do, it's this person will gain some... I feel like somebody here may suffer a stroke because I feel like it will bounce back to them with the Ace of Wands. Yeah, and the Six of Wands in reverse. Beloved, in the building, it will bounce back. They... they I feel like this person, the, the spell was not successful. It was subpar. It was halfway done. So it's... <laughs> halfway done. Halfway done. Yeah, the three of swords and the five of pentacles. Didn't I say this person is going to suffer a loss? Like six, six could be significant. I'm also hearing six, six, six. This person is going to suffer a huge loss here. Yeah, I feel like this person, they were experimenting. So I don't know, they were like, they, they were like experimenting. Because I feel like with the page of wands, they're not experienced with magic. They, this is like a page. They're not experienced. They don't know what they're doing. But I feel like too, for some of you this month, y'all could be like traveling. Y'all could be like going out, having fun, enjoying living it up. It's Taurus season. I feel like too, um, yeah, like love this month. New love, like contracts, renewing your vows for some of you. But I kind of feel like you, you will be... A proposal is coming this month. A proposal is coming. Yeah, the devil card, beloved, in the building, 666 energy. You are powerful, Taurus, with the devil card. I feel like you, you are the devil, like the occultist. You are the real. You are the... You are literally the founder of magic. So I feel like magic, I feel like you are immune to magic because I feel like with the devil card, these are like people, these are like your workers, these like witches, they work for you, they are under you. You teach them how to do spells with the devil card. You teach them how to do spells. You teach them how to do tarot readings. Hey, I'm not saying that I learned from the devil, but you teach these hoes. Yeah, the Queen of Cups, beloved in the building. You're a fucking occultist, Taurus. You could be in a cult. I feel like you could be like in some um secret um society. I'm getting like secret society vibes. Um, you could be a high priestess of some sort in a satanic church. <gasps> For some of you. Yeah, the Queen of Wands in reverse. I feel like you're very hot, you're sexy. I'm also hearing commodity. So y'all could be like stocks trading here, yeah, the Knight of Cups. Somebody here is not happy that you're successful, that you're healthy. So I feel like this person, they will be disappointed when they find out that you're actually um, healed, you're healthy, you're, you're back on your two feet. <laughs> it will disappoint them. Yes, the star card. I feel like you're the star. Yes, the devil card, the queen of cups, the star card. This is like powerful occultic energy. Like you are the star. You could be an astrologer for some of you. I feel like you, you read astrology. 
um, you understand astrology. I feel like you know their birth chart and you know your birth chart. I feel like two with the devil card. I feel like to this month, a lot of people could be addicted to your love. Somebody's addicted to your love. There's an Aquarius too that is addicted to you. I don't know. This person's like addicted to you. Haters can be addicted, okay? Haters will love you subconsciously. They don't even know if they love you. <laughs> they don't even know if they're in love or what. Like, haters will love you. Yeah, the justice card, beloved inner building. I did say you'll be getting your justice this month. Could be, you, you could have Libra somewhere in your chart. Or you could be dealing with the Libra. I'm hearing Libra Mars. But I feel like cause and effect. Cause and effect. The balance. Had, I feel like it has to be balanced out. Like... When you do black magic and it's sent back, it has to land somewhere and it's going back to this person. Yeah, somebody may suffer a stroke. I feel like too, this person could be like returning from the past and maybe coming back to apologize. I feel like you left somebody behind. You left this house behind. Taurus, like, I can't really um, stress this enough. I feel like you're going to forgive this person because, yeah, the Ten of Cups, beloved in the building, because their dreams are coming true. You're still winning and they're suffering and they need that forgiveness. They need those prayers because this person will suffer. Like, the devil will play with this person because, as I said, you're highly favored. You, you could be favored by the devil, whether you know this or not, because, of course, you are Taurus, Venus. Venus is the devil's lover, Saturn, Pluto. So here you are. The devil, you could be protected by, the, like, literally, I'm all dark and like ancestors who work with dark matter or you work with dark matter you, you could you could be experienced in black magic taurus i don't want to look down on you and say you're not the black magician here because black magicians too it just depends on what you're using it for so you could be experienced when it comes to black magic or the occult in general you could come from a very powerful bloodline whether you know this or not there could be an, a Capricorn Aquarius cusp that is in love with you. Or it could be them. But I feel like this is somebody in the, in the same, in the industry. I feel like you work with this person with the devil card. Yeah, the chariot card, beloved inner building. Y'all work in the same industry. Yeah, the moon card underneath. Heavy emphasis on cancer energy here. And the sun card in reverse. The hangman. Yeah, I feel like there was a sacrifice here that was done at the, at night or... what? Which sign was I getting that for? Libra. You need to watch the Libra reading. I mean, Venus. Somebody here made the wrong sacrifice. I also feel like somebody here could have tried to bully you. I feel like somebody didn't know that you were the king of pentacles, Taurus. Like, you are the king of pentacles. Like, I feel like a secret will be coming out, like, on the new moon, like, around the new moon. I also feel like the full moon will do something, because the full moon will be in Taurus. So, the new moon and the full moon will be very significant for you. I feel like the full moon will bless you. I feel like you will be um, enlightened about something, uh, new ways of making money. Um, yeah, there could be like a big payout that you could be like receiving on the full moon or I feel like You could be getting like clear skin around the full moon Yeah, king of cups. You may meet a king of cups somebody who's in love with you This is like a match. Y'all are both occultists. They you know about the occult. They know about the occult. They could be a Scorpio It's a good match if you're a tortoise and you're dealing with a Scorpio, that's a good match or you're dealing with the Libra or Virgo. Yeah, the Sun card or a Leo. But I feel like with the Sun card, you're celebrated here. I feel like it could be a leader of some sort or this person could be like a leader. Uh, I'm hearing Sun, Sunday time, Sun times. It could be like on the front cover for newspaper. 
it could be trending around this time. I feel like you, yeah, I feel like you will definitely be enlightened here about something, or your skin will be like clearing. You could be getting like clear skin with the sun card, like your skin may be going like to a tone or too lighter. Yeah, please like, share, and subscribe, Taurus, and I'll see you guys next time.